All right. We're going to call this special meeting to order. We don't have a flag, but can you still say the pledge? Yes. The pledge. <laughs> we can get a picture of a flag somewhere, I'm sure. There's one I, in that I do picture. have a flag. <laughs> Where? Yeah, there's one toward the courthouse. The courthouse. We'll go there. <laughs> Okay. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All righty. I don't have a copy of the <clears throat> agenda, David. But I think we're here to uh, talk about maybe. We're definitely interested in the purchase of the uh, recycling building across from the courthouse. Finally come to a price agreement on it the other day at the uh, meeting we had over at Recycle. Oh, okay, hold on there a minute. I think Cody's coming. There are... I know it's 20, probably about 27000 for insurance, so uh, the way they'd like it done, and it didn't make sense, was they wanted a check wrote for 100000 then they are going to write us a check back for the insurance premium, 23 to 27 whatever it is. Um, That's probably best. Yeah, that way State Board of Accounts will keep a rec Track, good record for purposes. both of us, and then the remainder will be... For them to uh, get caught up on some bills and hopefully start over fresh. But uh, the reason we were here today was due to uh, they were needing a little money this week before we get the other appropriated from the council. And I believe we have it in, um, it's from ARPA money, but we have it two different locations so we can help them keep going. We need to get a transmission and a truck over there and do a few other things. And we are still going to run recycling out of the, the smaller garage. Well, can I ask questions Absolutely. now about that? Okay. When you know they owe you, they owe you money now, and apparently they haven't uh, been able to pay their bills, how are they going to be able to pay them now? Well, we're actually making a little money over there, but they're so, they were so far behind and they've not been able to get caught back up. Cardboard's now a hundred and fifty some dollars a ton. And it was forty five. It's come up a hundred and some dollars. What is that? Come here. It's his front door. Oh. You're busy. No, it just it makes sense of this hell. Hot too. So fair. what are you gonna do with the building? Well, we've already been using it for storage, and I think we're going to try. We're going to redo one of the buildings here on Main Street. Patient first is our plan for uh, probably prosecutor, maybe community corrections, and then uh, we still have to find somewhere for Nate. So I mean, it seems like that'd be a do a little remodel and have storage and at least one office in there. That, every question, do you want me to raise my hand, or no. can we just have a conversation? <laughs> So have you bought the patient first building? We got somebody back in her back. Well, you you had your hand up first. <laughs> uh, well, actually, the uh, redevelopment commission is in the process of buying the patient first building. And okay. I I am in the process. I'm working with Dr. Krantz. Uh, uh, an attorney for Dr. Krantz contacted me last week. Uh, we have an offer to purchase in front of them, and uh, so the, they're working on their end to decide what what he he seems to be amenable to the sale sale excuse me uh but he's just kind of working his way through it so okay um that building needs a lot of work the patient first building there's there's there are patient records in there i mean you can go in there and look if you've been inside you can see patient records that are still there Drug paraphernalia in there. Needles everywhere. Black mold in there. 
for sure black mold. That's all. That's all it cost you money. So it's rent twenty five thousand dollars a year. Rent where? Everywhere that we're trying to get rid of. The prosecutor's office, the surveyor. Uh, that that whole building uh, and that building. May I? Yes, absolutely. It's, it's, the assessment is that that building's not in very good shape. Uh, Which so building? The prosecutor's office. Okay. So, uh, so that's that's where that's where they've been. And I believe the community corrections building is someone's made an offer on it. It has been sold, but. Uh, the, there is a lease that's good on that building until uh, a year and a half, yeah, probably. Uh, August, August of twenty-five. So we've got another what, fifteen months, fifteen or sixteen months uh, available there at that building. But we're looking into grants and stuff for the patient first building to help us with that on the remodel. Jessica seems to think we can get some work. That's sort of why we went through the redevelopment, so we could, you know, have a good shot at getting all kinds of grants. So what were we here for actually today on the, they were needing, I know for the transmission in the truck and. Duke, the Duke lights. Oh, the Duke lights, yes, that runs out on April 30th. Vince, can I go use your bathroom? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I know, I've been there. Sorry. Uh, I think you need. I think the plan was for you to go ahead and approve the purchase, uh, and then break down on what funds are paid when. So I think that was the plan, wasn't it? That door, oh. here. through the red door to the left. So uh, I look. I think we're making a look to make a motion to approve the purchase of the uh, recycling building across from the courthouse from Solid Waste. That's what we're here for. Motion is made, by Aaron. Purchase recycling building. Purchase recycling building across from the courthouse. Yeah. For a hundred thousand. Yeah. Well, tribal funds. There's hundred thousand in there, and that's what we talked about the other day. That's what, that's, I think that's what I was looking for. Yeah. I'll second. Tribal funds or wherever the council sees fit to draw the money from, other than. That's what I was going to advertise as tribal, but. Yeah. Then we're going to come up money, this money to, you know, when we buy patient first. I know we talked about tribal for that too, so. I don't know. But I guess if you're going to get a grant, that we'll have to see. Well, actually, redevelopment's buying the. Yeah, I mean, like, not to buy it, but to. Uh, yeah. Renovate. Well, we also have some ARPA funds that we and we also have courthouse improvement. Which wouldn't that fit in? You didn't know you had two dingers, huh? No, I did not. <laughs> I mean that's gonna be a, like a just an extension off the courthouse, so I mean it'll be I'll like second Aaron's motion. Second by Cody. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And now it comes to the point of them needing a little bit of cash this week. Um, so we thought we would Get that from ARPA? Is that where you thought? Yeah, as yeah, long as they're willing to pay us back. Or... And we also need to put in there that the deal is uh, whatever insurance is owed out till probably June, I think is what they wanted to go with. They are going to reimburse us that out of a check. So we need to have that in a minute. So, they... so, so seven, three, ten thousand, we're going to. Is that where the numbers I've seen? Been? Yeah, I, I don't know. So then, when we purchase the product, purchase the building, it's going to be ninety thousand then. Yes, and then they'll cut us a check back for about twenty three. Yeah, so I, I understand the interest, but DARP is what I care yeah. about. That's what we agreed on, wasn't it, David? Now, how you remember hearing it? Yes, okay. sir. And you did find a place for those two, the lights and the 
Yeah, barely. There's about just enough there. There's like 7,500 and one line. And, um, yeah, Jeremy had a bill to pay, so there's about, yeah, 3,000 in the other until the next council meeting. All right. So, well, as the transmission dead go over, I don't know. This will be, well, if it does, just, uh, they might have to come up with a little bit of cash. My golly. I hope they can figure out a way to take and care then, of And then we've got another individual that needs to be repaid pretty quickly, too. So, you've done mechanic and forms out some money and parts, so we need to get that took care of. But that's for that board. So, we'll talk about that on Thursday, I guess. So is it, is it Thursday? May I put it in my phone? I yes, it is. Morning. Thursday morning. Okay. 8.30. Mary. How much, how much taxes does Mr. Krantz, Dr. Krantz, I'm sorry, how much taxes does he pay on that building? Do you know? Oh, I can probably tell you. I haven't looked recently. Can you so get it up? So we're looking for a motion to go ahead and pay, help to pay for the transmission of the uh, new a motion to look for a second, sir. Pay for the transmission. You know what I'll work Transmission of the lights. Motion by Aaron. Second by Cody. All in favor? Aye. Aye. While Cody's looking for that, there's been, if I may, yes. there, there's been some discussion of uh, having the auditor's office take over the uh, the bookkeeping and the, and the payroll function for solid waste. Uh, Michelle said she thought it was feasible it could be done well that was the very first that was, <laughs> then after after we've looked into it like we were gonna have to take their funds and I don't know that that was something I was comfortable with whenever they're so far in the hole <laughs> like I'm afraid the county would be liable for all their de debts you know if we took on well no I don't think you'd be county would be liable it's just I would have to say we can't pay your bills. <laughs> your office would just have to. You know, well, I mean, but that's see, that's a totally separate governmental entity. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I mean, you know, in this, you know, what what has happened is the county has been gracious. The commissioner has been gracious enough to assist the district, but, um, you know, I think it's obvious something needs to be done there. Um, well, I know I can't really make a motion, but I would uh, I would strongly recommend not taking over their billing department. Okay. I just that, make... That's just my discussion with the auditor's office. I just don't believe that's where we want to be right now. But I'm just one. Uh, I'm just one. That's my opinion. I mean, I hear what you're saying, but there's some shit over there that somebody needs to be fired for. That was unacceptable. That, to me, that was a fireable offense. I mean, I, no, no, it, it is. I'm just not going to get too much into I'm it with here you. In, a, I'm with in you. an open meeting. I mean, you know, it's I'm not that you. board's meeting. I mean, I'm not going to just. Hopefully, we we'll discuss it on Thursday. I'm sure further. <laughs> and we can't add like without taking their funds. Um, we can't add their company into our company without paying a lot more in software fees. Um, you know, if we did a separate bank account. <clears throat> if you're not comfortable with it, Michelle, that's... Well, not right now, but... You might be discussing it with, the, with your uh, employees down there and see if they think there would be some time they would be comfortable with it or maybe even see how much it is going to cost. I mean, we're not going to be out anything to take care of their bills. Mm -hmm. Maybe when they're stable after this. And I just, I, I, it's been I discussed, know. so I just I know I thought, asked, I, I thought I'd bring it up, so. I don't know. Anybody wants to make a motion? No, I ain't making no motion. So we'll just take well, So out. after, so you're going to pay uh, solid waste, the money for this building, then, less, then they're going to pay back what they owe the county. So they're still, if you have issues with the way things are handled, you're still going to let them have that money? I mean, do they need it, I guess? They need it to... Yeah, they're going to have to pay bills. Yeah, they got to pay bills. 
I mean, I don't think they're going to be frugal with it. And they, they're not winning the lottery. I think it's going to be gone as soon as they get it. I, I mean, they're going to have about this much. I mean, Luke's deal is... But then a tax um, tax draw comes in in June, so that ought to, this will put them a little bit above the game, and then the tax draw, we should they should be seeing a little daylight. And as they said, the markets have improved. So they're, they're and we are revisiting on what we're gonna. And we're trying to pull the reins back. Yeah. I mean, we may not be able to do that, but then again, that's the redevelopment commission meeting. That'll be Thursday at eight thirty over there. I mean, so the public can't go to. Yeah, no, it's, right? it's a special no. meeting. It's not a executive. It's special. It's not executive. Okay. We don't have very many executive meetings over there. <clears throat> no, they're all pretty well public. Michelle and. Jenny, dear, a lot of people are there. Not a lot, but. But um, I think that's it for that part of the puzzle. And then also it says here um, we need to. Uh, I put that down whether you guys would want to discuss. There was a discussion of auditing, getting a financial oh, audit. Yeah. Of, oh, yeah. Uh, and uh, again, that would. At one point, the commissioners uh, on the Solid Waste Board discussed the county assuming that expense for Jim Higgins. He said he'd be willing to do that. Um, it, so just I just put that down for you guys to to discuss whether, whether you want to do it or think about it. Or Well, I think we decided we wanted to do it, didn't we? We want to go back. We won't be how, how, how long, how long are, do, will we go back? Probably four or five years, wasn't that? We would, as say, far back as we'd ask. So. Say at least minimum four or five. I don't think six. four is enough. I think you need to dip back in a six or eight. eight. I, mean, I, just, <clears throat> I don't know. Six or eight? I, it, you know, there's a. I don't want to feel like that cost. I, I mean, don't that's. Either. You remember what he quoted? We don't want to get out of control. Yeah, that's thing. what I'm saying. We ought to cap it. Or is it okay if Michelle and I get in yeah, contact well, yeah, with him and, to, and we need to discuss, you know, and initiate a initiate an offer or a, a quote? Do we need a motion on that for you to proceed? Make a motion. Proceed. Well, really, we don't need a. Not I think we a, need to get a quote from okay. him first before uh, before you know we before you. But I would think once he got back to like. Three years and after that it's kind of repetitive so it probably maybe not get more you go the more it gets yeah I think the and initial cost this, probably yeah. is the this would be different than the State Board of Accounts audit which they're having right now because that just goes through process and doesn't really go through right and also I think the usefulness of this is it might give Shit. the board mm -hmm. some uh, some sense of, of what might be working and what might not be working in that, you know, actual figures. So. It really doesn't seem quite fair that they could send someone down who this is his first audit <laughs> by himself. And I mean, he's been there like seven days or something now. I mean, and it's not cheap when they come down per day. No. Really? So the State Board of Accounts charges the... Oh, they charge entity. us when they come down to the courthouse. Yeah. Absolutely. That's why we... That's why we've done all of ours now electronically, so they don't have to go back really basically through and go through handwritten stuff. They can, oh yeah, it's 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 a it's a racket. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely a money making deal for them, because it's not cheap for them to come either, is it, Michelle? No. Thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. Every computer they got set up, there's a fee. I mean, it's a. We could probably delay payment on that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, yes, you guys go ahead and check right, out and see we'll what the check, key We'll is. talk to him and see. Now that his tax season's over, he probably have some time to talk to us. It's fourteen hundred a year. That's what you're looking at, Michelle. Oh uh, no, I was looking at how much the appraisal was for the recycling center. It was a hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. Well, I mean, not the price, the the cost to do it. Oh, you remember? No. I was going to ask how you guys were paying for that. It's from 
tomorrow, but I'll have to wait until after the council. Yeah, we'll have to wait. Well, uh, I don't have any other business to bring for y'all. I have been in contact with David after talking with Scott. He's got a, we've got like a mid-May deadline to try to get this spot of property on the Bridge 58. You know, the one that nobody had any deed to or claim. Um, at that point, if we don't have it by about the third week in May, we're going to have to delay the project. To I thought I'd seen something where we had filed on that. David got a file. Got. A I had spoken to the judge, and she was wanting. She was wanting some research on. Our problem is, you know, my position is. We've got one appraisal. Um, and normally the process is on condemnation like we're doing is you have to get two appraisal two appraisers and a and a private person and you know my position is we don't have a, we don't have an owner uh we have an appraisal so essentially you know going through that is kind of a useless proposition so that's why I did some research. It sounds like it might just cost us money for nothing. Of course. Which there's a lot of that in government. Okay. So and there might be a lot of it in government, but our yeah. county we don't really have a yeah. lot of extra. So anyway, we got it. We'll see what you know see what judge says. So But you did get it filed? Did yes, sir, it's all good. filed and so. so that's great. Um Cody, I don't know if you saw, but we got two resignations last week. I, was, I made it to one. I had a customer show in. I seen Amy and I replied to Amy. Mm -hmm. Now, was, I was in the process of reading the one from her husband. Is he resigning too? Yes. I made it about halfway through it. No. So, we need to make it aware that we are looking for a veteran service officer and an HR person. I guess she's got it advertised on Indeed. Not that I know of. As of Friday, she was waiting to hear any response from you guys. I mean, there's no talking her into staying, is no, there? No, I mean, so we not just staying full time. She, you know, David. I did discuss with her whether, whether you know, she would be interested in, a, you know, maybe doing part of it as a consultant. Um, Somebody would have to, you know, we'd have to, the county would have to train somebody to do like the intake stuff, you know, the day to day stuff. But uh, for the, some of the heavy lifting stuff, maybe I suggested maybe ask her if she would consider doing that as a consultant for the county, if, could be, if that could be work. Would you gentlemen be interested in, in working with her on that? I know I'm catching you cold, so you might want to No, think I mean, I don't think, I think it's an option. I, I mean, I don't think we're going to find anybody in two weeks to take that job. So, yeah, no. I think if we get a little early, I mean, until we, find we can get some help, absolutely. Yeah. For I a still while. don't think you're going to, I mean, you're lucky we found two people qualified yeah. for that price. It's just, you know, and she told me, she just, it's, they, they just, they have family spread out everywhere, and it's just, they want the time to be able to travel and do stuff rather than be tied down. Now I do think Wes, the veteran service officer, he, he indicated some health issues. Uh, yeah, plus he thinks it's a lot more work <clears throat> than the compensation. So, Mary. Can I agree with that statement? Um, because uh, VSO offices in a lot of the surrounding counties. Um, they have their staff by one or two, sometimes three people, because Veterans Affairs are a really big deal, and it does take a lot of time. And as in Mark County, we don't we don't give the veterans the time I think that uh, they deserve, and we do not pay a VSO near enough money. I mean, I think Jonathan really stepped up and did a good job, but I mean, 
You okay. got it in the right direction. Put it that way. It was in the right. It was going in the right direction. It sucked to lose him, but he was just busy with life. I mean, VSO was almost a full-time position mm -hmm. to do it properly. And the other problem we've got is somebody that's a veteran that's willing to do it. We don't. I mean, that's that's, that's the biggest it. problem. I, I asked a but, gentleman, and he would have been a slam dunk. He had thanked me, and I thought Handy Alan, approached me that he had some. He knew Alan some of us. I mean, but he said I retired for reasons. But not for the work that's involved. I mean, you're going to have to get some money in the budget to get somebody that's going to do a good job because it is a lot of work. A lot of work. And Jonathan did do a good job. Him and Kim both. I don't know. You know, of course, maybe he's get a veteran to be the office holder and then hire somebody to right. do, the, do the paperwork. Mm -hmm. It's just what she needs more personnel. <laughs> and um, Kim, t the the same testing and the same things that uh, Jonathan had to do as VSO, because she had access to the same information. She had to pass the same tests that he did. So anyone that you hire has to go through through vetting and testing, yeah. just like the VSO does. And a lot of people don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. I have to go to Bloomington. Okay. Do you need me for anything Is else? Is there anything else? Guys, we are going to have to be on the search for a VSO. We need to get that advertised. And, uh, I mean, I think we were in agreement. You know, do we, do we need to vote on, do we need to vote on keeping Amy around us? I think we need to have that discussion with her first okay. and make sure she's even willing to consider Yeah, it. we can talk about that Tuesday at our regular meeting. So, But if not, and also, anyhow, she needs to get that on indeed. With, with, with the people that, that don't work in the courthouse, can we not get them to be, force them, deputies, to do some of this heavy lifting? I would think we could put up some on the departments. Because, I mean, that is. Not a motion to adjourn. Yeah, okay, make a motion to adjourn. Now.